exam 2024-12b, problem 11. Let x sub n equal sine squared of n degrees. What is the mean of x1 to x90? So it's pretty straightforward what you start doing, and then you gotta figure out what you're going to do. You have sine squared of one degree uh, plus sine squared of two degrees plus uh, sine squared of three degrees plus dot 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 plus and I'm gonna write sine squared of 89 degrees and sine squared of 90 degrees okay so quick refresher on what sine squared is if I say sine squared of 1 what I mean is the sine of 1 squared Okay, so now that we've said that, uh, there's a, the Pythagorean identity comes to mind. So you're asking, when do I see all these sine squareds? How are they going to go away? They have to all equal this. I'm going to need some things to do some things, and that means the signs need to go away somehow. How are we going to make them go away? Let's theorize. So if I could get sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x, that would equal 1. But how would I get cosine? Oh. Uh, what does cosine stand for? Do you know? It stands for the co-function of sine. That's what cosine, it's this, cosine, the co-function of sine. And what that means is that the angles, when they add to 90, they'll be equal. So for, for, for instance, sine of one degree is equal to the cosine of 89 degrees. Okay, so if sine of one degree is cosine of 89, oh, what if I change this to the cosine of 89, to the cosine squared of 89, which is the cosine of 89 whole thing squared, but just put the squared back like we would before. That looks like it would match up with that and give us this thing that gives us one, and we can do that all day long. We've got 2 degrees and 88 and 3 and 87, all the way down to where? Are there any that won't pair up? What are we going to do with the 90? All questions that you can answer relatively quickly. The 90 is 1, of course, and so you're just going to have 1 over there by itself. But that means we won't have enough pairs. What number will be left all by its lonesome in the middle? That's going to be the sine of 45 degrees, right, squared. Check it, 44 and 46, yep, that's gonna be fine. One will become a cosine, the other one a sine, and you'll have all those ones. So how many ones is that? Well, it's from one to 44, which is 44 ones. So you're gonna have 44 ones added there. What is the sine of 45? Rad two over two, square it to get a half. Drop the half right here, 45.5. So now you have a sum that is a number, and it's going to be over how many values were there. There was 90. Check for this. We don't see it. Double both. 91, 180. Answer choice E. Uh, we are not going to be doing 12, I don't believe. I do not have a good explanation for 12 at this time. Check other forums.